Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at a coordinate geometry idea about finding the equation of a line through the intersection of two other lines, line 1 and line 2, without actually finding the intersection point per se. We're actually going to use a technique or a method called the K-method or the lambda method to give us the equation of a line through the intersection of two other lines uh, and either it can be going through another point, which is the first case we're going to look at. It can be actually through that point and parallel to another line or through that point of intersection and perpendicular to another line, which is case three. But first up, we're going to actually look at the demo uh, and just watch the demo for a minute. Hello, well, this is a quick demonstration of the K method or the lambda method, which is finding the equation of a line through the intersection of two other lines. Now, I set up two lines, uh, the blue one and the purple one, and the red line is actually uh, going through the intersection point A of the two lines, okay, with a particular k or lambda value. You can see here k is actually minus 1.4. So the, the blue line is actually uh, ax plus by plus c equals 0, and the purple line is dx plus ey plus f equals 0, and the actual uh, red line is the line 1 plus k, which is this minus 1.4 times uh, line 2. Okay, now basically uh, what we do is if we, um, I'll just change k to show you what happens if I change k. If I change k, you can see here I'm getting a different line, okay, through the intersection of those two points. Now, if I change a, I'll just change a, you can see here the intersection point is moving, okay, uh, if I change the the values of the D over here on the other side, you can see here I'm also changing the intersection. Whoa. Okay. So basically, for different values of K or lambda, I will actually get uh, another line through the intersection of these two original lines. Okay. Now, um, if K is actually equal to zero, I'll just try and make K zero. You can see here it coalesces with line one. Okay. So here we are or the blue line, you could say. Okay, so basically, uh, we're going to be using this idea that uh, line 1 plus k lots of line 2 equals 0 is, in fact, the equation of another line, the red one, through the intersection of the two original lines, point A, and we're not even going to find the point of intersection. Okay, okay well, welcome back. And uh, the first case is actually uh, going to be through a point. And uh, the first thing we need, obviously, is the equations of the lines. So let's actually write down... I always do it like this, line 1, let's go line 1 is equal to, in this case 2x, you'll be given these, 2x, 3y minus 4 equals 0, uh, and line 2, okay, say something like 5x minus 6y plus 10 equals 0. Now we want to, uh, these are the two lines, okay, we, we want the equation of another line through the intersection of these two lines, but through another point, so we're going to need this other point, uh, okay, with the other point will be actually 1, Two. Okay, so the idea is we first up we just say okay, so it's just line one plus k or lambda. I'm just going to use k because I use k in the demo. Line two is equal to zero, and basically all we do is we sub the point x and y in to find the value of k. Okay, so it'll be something like this. It'll be two x plus three y minus four plus k lots of uh, here we go five x minus six y plus ten equals 0, and we'll sub the values in uh, for x as 1 and y as 2. We should get uh, 2 plus 6 minus 4 plus k lots of uh, 5 minus 12 plus 10. Okay, equals 0. And we will just, uh, k, what does that, that give us? Uh, what, 4 plus 3k is equal to 0. Okay, therefore, uh, the k value in this case is minus 4 over 3. Okay, now once we've got the k value, we just sub it back into line 1 plus k line 2. So line 1 plus, now it's equal to minus 4 and 3, the k value. Minus 4 and 3, lots of line 2 equals 0. Okay, so we just put all the values back in again. So line 1 was uh, 2x uh, plus 3y minus 4. Then it's uh, minus 4 on 3 lots of line 2, which was uh, 5x minus 6y plus 10, and that's equaling 0. Okay, so we have just multiply now by uh, 3. Uh, okay, um, we'd end up getting um, both sides by 3. 
we get uh, what 6x plus 9y, 3 fourths are 12, minus 4 fives are 20x, and we get a minus 4, so it's positive 24y, and a obviously a minus 40 equals 0. Uh, collect up all the like terms, I think we end up getting minus 14x plus 33y minus 52 equals 0. Um, but in, in general form, what we would do, we would um, write the a, the coefficient of a is positive, so we multiply it by minus 1, so it becomes like 14x minus 33y plus 52 equals 0. Now, what is this? Well, this is the equation of the line through the intersection of line 1 and line 2, but also through the point P, 1, 2. Okay. Okay, well, just before we go on, I'll just go back to the previous case. Okay, this line. Now, um, what have we got? Well, basically, we've got a line 1, a line 2, a point of intersection, and another point P, and we've got to find the equation of the line through there, and that is this line here. Okay. So I just thought I'd, uh, sometimes a little picture is worth uh, a thousand words. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the next case. Okay, here we are. Uh, case two. Now, uh, what have we got in the second case? Well, we've got a, a, basically we've got to try and find the equation of the line through the intersection of line one and line two as before. And now, instead of going through a point, it's actually going to be parallel to another line, y, you can see here y equals 2x plus 3. Now you can see the gradient of this line y equals mx plus b obviously is 2. So what do we, how do we approach these sorts of questions? Well, uh, the first thing is we just um, write uh, okay, line 1 plus k line 2 equals 0. And then we put the equations in for line 1 and line 2. Uh, 2x plus 3y minus 4 plus k Lots of line 2 now, uh, 5x minus 6y plus 10, 10 equals 0 now, as we did before. But now what we do, instead of, we haven't got actually got a point to sub in for the x and y to find the k value, but we have a gradient. So we need to find the gradient of this expression in terms of k and equate it to 2. So what we would do, we expand this out and we go like uh, 2x plus 3y minus 4 plus 5kx minus 6ky plus... Uh, 10, lots of k, 10k equals 0. Rearrange this and write that as what? 2 plus 5k, lots of x. Okay. Uh, how about the y's? Okay, we've got a plus, okay, a 3 minus a 6k, lot of y. And the constant will just be uh, plus 10k minus 4, which we're not going to use in this case. Okay, so. How do we get the gradient of an expression like this, a general form, ax plus by plus c? If you've actually been watching some of the earlier videos, you know that the gradient, you can rearrange this, make y the subject, but basically it's going to be minus a over b would be the gradient. So the gradient uh, for this line, okay, would be the m would be equal to minus a on b for the general form, which in this case would be what? Minus uh, two lots of, uh, well, two plus five k, uh, it's not two lots of, it's actually just minus the coefficient, which is minus 2 plus 5k, all over b, which in this case is coefficient of the y, which is 3 minus 6k. Okay, now, okay, that's an expression for the gradient in terms of k. So we're going to equate this to, uh, okay, over here. Yes, the 2. So we need to equate that to 2, okay? So therefore, okay, then solve for k. So therefore... 2 would equal minus 2 plus 5k all over 3 minus 6k. Okay, now we have to cross multiply. Uh, what's that? Uh, 6 minus 12k is equal to, let's have a look, minus 2 minus 10k. Okay, uh, what do we end up getting? Okay, um, let's put. Uh, Okay, let's actually just stop for a second. Okay, hopefully you can see there's a mistake there actually. We uh, have, uh, this should be still, okay, 
uh, minus of five. The neg well, the negative of five k should be just minus uh, five k here. Okay, so let's rearrange this. Put uh, try and solve for k. What's that? Uh, Seven k is equal to uh, let's put uh, k eight. Therefore, k k is equal to eight over seven. Now we need to substitute uh, that in to uh, okay line one. So plus now it's going to be eight on seven. Lots of line two equals zero. Okay, so we need to do a bit of algebra and multiply everything by uh, seven. So we could say therefore okay uh, seven lots of line one plus uh, eight lots of line two is equal to zero. And then we put all uh, the numbers in, and we should come up with 54x minus 27y plus 52 equals zero. Okay. okay, so we should come up with the line, okay, 54, 54x minus 27y plus 52 equals zero. Okay, now, okay, so what is this? Okay, let's just try and draw a picture. Okay, so we've got, we've got line 1 and line 2, and we've got the intersection point, but we now have it parallel to another line. So basically it has to be, there's the other line, so it needs to actually go through here, parallel to this other line. Okay, so this is uh, basically what we've got now. We've got the equation of the line through the intersection of line 1 and line 2. Uh, okay, so it's going through the intersection point, and it's parallel to this other line. Okay, let's go on to the next case. Now the next case is the one where it's actually perpendicular to another line rather than parallel. And um, what we need to do is we need to do the same sort of thing again. Uh, and, okay, so we uh, get uh, line one plus k line two, and we just basically put the line one and line two in. Uh, okay, and we uh, try and work out uh, an expression for the k, and we as we did before. And I think uh, from before. What do we get? Uh, we had something like um, 2 plus 5k x uh, plus uh, 3 minus 6ky. Um, and then the um, constant was 10k minus 4. Okay. And basically, what we need to do is obviously we get the gradient of this, okay, which M, you might remember, is minus A and B, so it's minus 2 plus 5K all over the B, which is uh, 3 minus 6K. Now, instead of equating it to the gradient 2, we have to equate it to the negative reciprocal gradient. So we need to, okay, so the gradient, so we know we need M is equal to, well, negative a half. We hopefully remember M1 times M2 is negative 1, or if we want a, a perpendicular line, we, when we know the gradient, we just use the negative reciprocal. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to basically just equate this gradient uh, minus uh, 2 plus 5k all over 3 minus 6k. We're going to equate that to now negative a half and try and solve it for k and then put the k back into line 1 plus k line 2 get, to get the equation. Okay, so what we're we doing? Well, now I'll be multiplied by negative 1. Uh, then we get uh, cross multiply, so we get what? 4 plus 2 fives are 10k equals 3. Now this would be a positive now, 3 minus 6k. And we just uh, end up getting what? Uh, 16k equals negative 1. Therefore, k is equal to negative 1 on 16. So we're going to have to go like this. Uh, okay, line 1 minus. 1 on 16, line 2 equals 0. We've got the k value for our line, OK? Which, if you like, is actually just 16 lots of line 1 minus ordinary line, or I should say line 2 there, uh, is actually, which should be line 2, equals 0. OK, and then we put all the numbers into, uh, well, not the numbers, the actual equations of the lines back in, and we should get uh, an equation 27x plus 54 y minus 74 equals 0. So we should get, eventually, when we uh, substitute, uh, you know, the 2x plus 3y minus 4 for line 1 and the 5x minus 6y plus 10 for the line 2 and do the multiplication, 16 lots of the line 1 minus uh, 1 lot of line 2, we should get this answer of 
okay, uh, 27x, okay, uh, plus 54y, uh, minus 74 equals 0. Okay, so what is this? Well, this equation is the equation of the line through the intersection of line 1 and line 2. Okay, so it's through the intersection point, but it has to be perpendicular to this line y equals 2x plus 3. Now, what would that look like? Okay, so I'll just quickly try and draw this. We've got line 2 and line 3. We've got the intersection point. We've got a line here. But we want this one, which is perpendicular now to the original line. Okay, so we now have the equation of the line, which is this one here, 27x plus 54y minus 74 equals 0, is the equation of the line through the intersection point of line 1 and line 2, which we didn't actually solve simultaneously which, uh, to find, and we've now got it a particular k value for the one which is perpendicular to this line, y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Bye for now.